Read it and wait, boys. New low way. What's up, family? What is up? So, what we're doing today is something different. Um, last night, you guys saw I went to that a restaurant called Tinsel Town. I had a massive fat ass burger. I came home and I wasn't feeling like training. I hadn't trained that day. So I was supposed to do back and triceps yesterday and I was supposed to do legs today. But if I do back and triceps today instead of legs and do legs tomorrow, it will just mess up my whole routine. So what I'm going to try to do today is train twice a day. So two a day training. I'm going to do legs right now and then in a couple of hours I'll do back and triceps. And I don't really recommend this just because I don't know anyone who's bothered to go to the gym twice. But uh, we're going to try it out today. Just this only, I'm only doing it today. It's a one-off. But we're going to try it out. I'm going to take you through it. And yeah, you guys are going to see my leg workout and the, the back and triceps. And I'll show you some food, what I eat post-workout and whatnot. So let's kill these legs, boys. Squatting. You got a squat? Let's do it. What is up, everybody? I am back with another commentary. All right. It's been a while. Not really, actually. No, it hasn't been a while. That's a lie. Hasn't been a while. It's been about a day or so. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing, honestly? So a lot of people just brush it off at the end of the sentence. But how are you guys doing? Leave it down in the comments below. What do you guys train today, you know? I trained deadlifts today. But anyways, so today I did two-a-day training. So I trained twice in one day. And it was quite it was quite fun. It wasn't as taxing on my body than I thought it was going to be. It was actually okay. So the reason I did it was because I missed a workout. And to make up for it... I did two in one day instead of, you know, replacing one with the other just because it messed up my whole routine. And it worked out pretty well. So I did the squats first. I had a leg day and then a back and triceps. So I did legs first. And, man, these felt so great. For those who squat, and you should squat, by the way. You don't squat, you've got some problem. Squat, okay? Squat, 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 squat. Squat. Anyway, so for those who do squat, you know how it feels when you get the weight on your back and stuff? Today... The weight felt so light, and I actually hit a new PR, so I've never hit 77.5 kgs before, and today I hit it for three sets of three, so my idea was to hit a top set of 75.5 and then do some drop down sets, but it felt so light, I was like, you know what, this is going to be my working weight today, so I did three sets of three with this, and I did, uh, I think, two sets of four or five um, to get some more volume in, so... It worked out pretty good, man. I'm so close to hitting that 80 kg, and it's just been... It's crazy, man. The strength gains. Uh, I'm just loving it. I'm loving the progress, and that's what it's, it's all about, that. It's all about progress, um, taking it slow and steady. You don't want to rush the progress and then, you know, hit a plateau and then have the deload. Take it slowly, slowly, deload, slowly, slowly, deload, um, and make slow gains. And over time, that will build up. Trust me, it will build up. But, um, yeah, that's about it. It's going to be the last set, and I'll get back to you guys in the back and triceps commentary, all right? Peace. All right, post-workout. Man, that was a good workout. Hit some PRs. It felt great. So what i got here is two bagels, okay? Um, i got 80 grams of chicken um, split in between, so 40 grams each. Then I got 10 grams of cheese split up, so 5 grams of cheese in each of them with a little bit of ketchup and got myself just a regular Coke. Uh, it has 27 grams of carbs, so I'm going to have this post-workout. Hopefully fill me for the next workout coming up, as you guys know. Got back in triceps, and while I'm doing that, I'm watching Tweens, man, the Hodge Tweens. And hopefully... Uh, Hopefully get some rest, probably rest for like a couple of hours, maybe two or three, and then um, train back and triceps. So let's do this. Okay, back again with back and triceps. All right, so penalty rows, you know how I do it. I've been loving this exercise. I'm going to go up and wait next week as well. This week, actually, because this was last week. So these penalty rows are feeling pretty light. But anyways, I want to talk about something, guys, really quickly. And the topic is... Don't be an arrogant, egotistic individual when it comes to the gym, alright? So, the reason I want to talk about this is because um, I go to the gym in my school once a week. Uh, and um, there's this guy there that, well, how do I say it? Well, he's just so arrogant. Like, it's not even arrogant. He's one of my friends and 
he's not really he's quite he's new to lifting. He doesn't know how to lift weights really. He, the form is all over the place, and you know, you know, there's me with good form, and then I look at him, and he's obviously his form's not going to be the best, and fair enough. But one thing I noticed about him, he always has to lift heavy weights. He's like he's like competing with someone. I'm like to him, you're not competing with anyone. Don't lift heavy weight if you can't, you know, if you can't. Uh, you know, move it properly. He's just shifting the weight. He's not actually lifting it and using the muscles, right? I'm like, you're not going to grow like that. And obviously his knowledge isn't great at all with lifting, to be fair. And I'm trying to help him out. I'm like, why don't you just do this? Why don't you put your elbows in a little bit more? Why don't you do this? And he's like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And just by the way he says it, I can understand that he's not listening because he has no eye contact. He's, before I even give him the advice, he's saying, yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. And I just want to let you guys know that don't be arrogant when it comes to advice um when people give you advice take the advice man it's not going to hurt you man um even if you think you're better than them or whatever i mean some people i mean this guy hasn't even lifted weights in his life he hasn't lifted free weights ever and you know he he expects to know it all i'm like you know this is your first time you're not gonna be that good and he's like oh well. he get he gets really uh really annoyed when he's not good at something the first time i'm like it takes time to get good mate you know it took me a long time to lift where i am now it's not easy, you know, you've got to work at it. And that's the thing, he's like, oh, but it t it, then he's like to me at the end, oh, I don't think it's worth it, all this work. And I'm just like, that's the thing. That's the difference between, you know, a person with that, this growth mindset who, who wants to push and wants to work towards something. But people like that, they don't want to work. And it just really, like, opened my eyes. Because I used to, I, you know, I was just under the impression that everyone wanted a good body and everyone would work hard for it. But there's some people who just don't want to work hard for it and don't want to put the effort in. He was like, you know what, I don't think it's worth the effort or it's so much for a little thing. I'm like, hey, that's your choice. But anyways, take that into consideration, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right?